What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anthony and this is Watch With Me. Today we got a little bit of a different video. Um, I've mentioned it before that I am kind of a collector -aholic. Uh I have that gene in me where no matter what I get into I want more of it. So uh, this video is going to be more so on my cigars and a little bit on my scotches and whiskeys. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Before we get into that video, uh, today's wristwatch check, I am wearing my Rolex Sub. This is a go-to of mine. It's honestly, the more I think about it, it, it's the perfect watch. It's super comfortable, it's the perfect size, and it literally goes with everything. Today I'm just wearing a black tee and uh, shorts, and it just works well with it. I also wear it with a suit, so that's why I love it so much. Obviously, if you can't splurge for a Rolex, there is an unbelievable amount of really cool dive watches ranging from $100, obviously all the way up to $20,000, $50,000. But today, this is my vintage sub, enough of my watch, let's get into the topic. All right, so humidor tour, slash kind of what's on my side of the dresser. Um, some of my perfumes, uh, I won't go too in depth, because I know if you're clicking on this, you're probably just clicking on for the cigars, but uh, Tom Ford, uh, Creed, uh, Hermes, which is my favorite. Um, this is uh, my favorite Hermes Voyage. Um, some uh, some decent stuff. I kind of have a, an addiction to collecting, so whatever I get into, I tend to overbuy. But um, my watch box, you've seen this in plenty of other videos, so I won't go into that. And then everywhere I go, I collect uh, matches. So. Um, you know, I don't really use these to light my cigars. I have a, a torch lighter, but I just think it's it's kind of cool. And uh, when I do have a, a bigger place, it'll be nice to kind of display in my man cave. So this is my humidor. Uh, this is technically supposed to, I think, fit 150 cigars or more. That is extremely generous because this holds far less and you're about to see why. So. I will go ahead and say that I am not a cigar aficionado. I do enjoy a cigar with a nice glass of scotch or bourbon. So uh, I'm not gonna explain, you know, the notes that I get on each cigar or something like that. Just more or less what I have, what I enjoy smoking. So um, this is quite a bit off. I've tried calibrating it a few times. It's definitely not 75% humidity. I have another uh, hydrometer in here that says it's around 70 but uh, so these are some of my singles I have up here um, more of my premium stuff uh, this I was just given the other day I'll let it sit in here for a little bit some of my Opus X have actually been in here for a few years now um, you know I mean they're expensive but for some reason I just find myself just waiting for a special occasion to smoke it and I just, I never, I never find something quite as important enough to, to light it up, which is, I know it's kind of silly because they're meant to be smoked. So um, maybe I'll smoke one soon. But uh, the Lost City, some more Opus X. So these I've been smoking quite a bit. I've been buying the five packs on um, Cigar Bid. This is the H. Upman. Uh, it's more of a, a medium body uh, to full body. Uh, I've really been enjoying them. Um, definitely because I'm more of a, you know, uh, a novice smoker. I only smoke a few a week. I do have to not baby it, but definitely can't smoke it fast. It gets me a little lightheaded. But uh, after a nice full meal and a glass of scotch, I've really been enjoying these quite a bit. I know uh, I've heard the Cubans of the H. Upman are unbelievable. Haven't been able to try any of those. The Punch, a great uh, kind of everyday smoke, again. Uh, I keep going through these five packs. I might go ahead and just buy a box because I've been enjoying them. Now, one of my biggest complaints about this humidor is uh, I've been enjoying buying boxes. Now, this cannot hold boxes well, so you can see that I have a box of these right here, and it takes up this whole section right here. Um, I have these for quite a bit. It's not my favorite size. Uh, I do prefer a Robusto. But this is um, a cigar I've really been enjoying. This was a 20 pack. You can see I have around nine left. Um, but it's a it's a good smoke. Uh, 
probably overpaid for this box because I haven't been enjoying them as much. Uh, and it was just under like $200, I think like 150 or so. But decent smoke. Um, I've had them for a while. Uh, it's not my go-to, but nonetheless, good smoke. And then under here, I have uh, another five pack I bought of the H. Upman. Like I said, uh, I've been enjoying them. So anytime I'm on cigar bid and I see them up for sale, I've been pick, scooping them up. Um, and then again, more uh, uh, packs. I keep them at 72. My, my apartment in the city tends to be a bit dry. Um, so I, I find the 72 works pretty well. Just move this over. Take this out. Sorry for the terrible filming, guys. So you can see this is my other uh, hydrometer. You can see it's reading 69% humidity. Um, and what is that? 68 degrees. So I don't always go by this one there. This one's a bit older. I've tried uh, calibrating it a few times and it doesn't seem to ever, ever work quite right. This is my newest box of my Arturo Fuente uh, Queen B. This is a really nice size. I've smoked one so far. Uh, it, was, it was really good, but I do think I need to age these a bit more. But uh, it's, uh, it's a really nice size that I find enjoyable to smoke. Uh, it's about an hour smoke. Um, so when I go up to my roof, uh, this is pretty much what I like to bring. Um, I originally tried a single of these and really liked it, but uh, so I decided to go ahead with the box, which I don't think these were that um, unfairly priced. I think the box was around $125, but Arturo Fuente, known for making some of the best uh, non-Cuban cigars, uh, I really enjoy them. Um, again, more of a medium to full body cigar, but yeah. This is uh, my most recent box, and you can see it's really tight in here. So uh, I, I need a bigger humidor. Um, as I get more into uh, smoking cigars, I tend to go through them quite a bit, and I don't have room for everything. So I did just go ahead and order a, a new air winador. Uh, the 250 count. So I'm going to do a review of that soon and then kind of go over, you know, my new setup. All right, so for those of you who actually watch my videos, thank you very much. And you know, this is where I film a lot of them. So this is my living room. Uh, this is my stereo with my turntable. And uh, yeah, this is where I keep most of my liquor, my good liquor at least. I leave a uh, you know, the stuff I use for mixing drinks and things like that in um, in the freezer and whatnot. But this is my current setup. Um, over here, I have uh, the Remy Martin Cognac XO. This I absolutely love and there's a cool story behind it. So this watch was actually given uh, to the owner of Bremont by Orlando Bloom. Uh, he went to his premiere, he's good friends with him, and he didn't feel like bringing it back to the UK. So when I was the boutique director, he gave it to me. So kind of a degrees of separation, if you will. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice uh, after dinner um, cognac. Uh, it's around $200 for the bottle, maybe a little bit less. Uh, again, uh, I've heard people say cognac pairs extremely well with this cigar, and I happen to agree. Macallan 12, kind of my go-to. Uh, I've went through a few bottles of that already. Um, very affordable, between $50 and $70, depending where you are. Um, this is my Hibiki. Uh, it's, it's good for a Japanese uh, whiskey. In my opinion, extremely overhyped, but I like it. Um, in the back, I have Johnny Walker Double Black. Very average. I haven't opened it up yet. I've had it plenty of times. This I just got for my birthday from a good friend. I'm really excited to open it up. And try it I hear it's very good um, and then I've been wanting to get more into bourbons so I just picked this up um, actually yesterday and uh, it's a smaller bottle I just had a few a few drinks out of it um, let my buddies try it but I really like it obviously the bourbons uh, I find and most people find to be a little bit sweeter uh, and I enjoyed that not something I want all the time but 
uh, I can see myself getting more into bourbons. And then this was also a gift. This is Johnny Blue. Uh, again, I personally think this is very good. A bit overhyped, but it is a very good uh, scotch, blended scotch. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different, not so much about launches, but more about kind of my other hobbies. I'm sure there is a select group uh, that watches that are also into the things that I'm into other than watches. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like. It lets me know that you're enjoying the content and leave a comment down below. What are some of your favorite sticks that you like to smoke and uh, what drinks do you pair it with? Or if you're not much of a smoker, what do you like to drink on a, on a night or weekend or whatever? Uh, until next time, guys, take care.